Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Sunday morning Relax and Reset class. My name is Nadine, and I am looking forward to sharing this class with you today. We will finish with a little bit of a longer meditation at the end. We'll be doing our loving kindness meditation. We've done it before, um, but I really think you can never send out enough loving kindness to the world. All right, let's get started. Go ahead and sit down in your chair, slide your shoes off if you haven't already. As always, a second chair is handy to have nearby. We'll slide back into our chair and just take a few moments to breathe, to ground and to arrive, and then we will launch straight into things. So close your eyes down. Lean back in your chair. And take a deep breath in through your nose. A long breath out through your mouth. Twice more through, just like that. As you breathe in, gather all of the events of your morning, of your weekend, of the week that has just been. And on the breath out, a chance to let them all go. Once more, just like that, deep breath in, gather up. And on your exhale, a chance to release. Keep breathing just like that, deep full breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Every exhale lands you more completely into this moment. So use breath after breath to let everything else fade into the background of your mind. As you arrive here in your body, feel yourself sitting in your chair, in the safe space of your home. With nothing else to do, nowhere else to be for the next 45 minutes or so than right here. Breathing deeply, moving mindfully and creating a greater sense of ease and peace in your body. Enjoy a few more breaths just like that. And as you breathe, allow the surface of your body to relax. Allow the skin of your face, the muscles of your face to relax. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears and feel that sensation of relaxation slowly gliding all the way down your arms, and down your torso, down your legs. Two more breaths exactly as you are. Keep your eyes closed, take your hands together, rub your hands back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, generating heat, energy between the palms of your hands. And place your palms over your belly, feel the warmth of your hands through your shirt. Take another breath in. Belly expands, breathing out. Belly settles back in. One more breath, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Draw your hands together once again. Rub the hands together back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Keep going as if you are warming your hands up in front of the fire on a cold day. Generate that heat between the palms of your hands. And then place your hands over your chest, over your heart. Two breaths here. Feel your chest fill up as you inhale. Relax back down as you exhale. Once again, deep breath in. Long breath out. Palms of the hands come together one last time, rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And then place your palms over your eyes. Feel that tingling of energy over the top of your eyelids. And blink your eyes open into the darkness of your hands. As you breathe in, move your spine away from the back of your chair, sit up tall. As you breathe out, keep that length through your spine, draw your hands all the way down to your lap and welcome yourself back into your space. All right, let's slide to the front of the chair. 
Plant your feet out in front of you, directly below your knees and set your feet up so that they're parallel. Press your feet all the way down into the earth from a steady foundation. We can create so much freedom and lift and brightness through our upper body. And take your hands, either place them behind your head, interlace your fingers behind your head, or you can take your hands to your shoulder tops and lift your elbows up high. As you next breathe in, draw your heart up to the sky, lean your head back into your hands, or lean your head back if you have your hands on your shoulders. As you breathe out, draw your elbow points together, round through your upper back. Inhale, open up. Draw your elbows wide, gaze up to the sky, feel your heart become spacious and bright. And on the breath out, elbow points come to touch, press the back of your heart to the space behind you. Three more times, just like that. Deep breath in, unravel, open. And as you breathe out, elbow points together, press the back of the heart to the space behind you. Let the breath guide the way, inhale, open up. Take the whole length of your inhale to completely express yourself in this shape. And as you exhale, back of the heart presses round into yourself. Last time through, deep breath in. And a long breath out. So nice everyone, lift yourself back up so your head is stacked on top of your shoulders, elbows wide, heart bright, heel toe your feet a little bit wider so you have that steady base, tip your right elbow down to the right side of your space, enjoy a big stretch through the left side of your torso and stay here or take your right hand across, catch a hold of the outer edge of your left thigh. And you can pull into your right hand to give yourself a little bit more traction here. And allow yourself to tip that little bit further over to the right. Know that you're steady and being held, supported by your right arm. One more breath in, gaze up. As you breathe out, draw yourself all the way back to center. Take your right hand back behind your head. Find length through your side body, deep breath in. Tip your left elbow down towards the floor as you breathe out. Stay here, all left hand crosses over and catches a hold of the outer edge of your right thigh. Once you have that connection and feel that stability of your hand pulling into your thigh, allow yourself to first open your heart slightly more to the sky and then tip a little bit deeper down towards the left. Deep breath in and a long breath out. Come all the way back up to center. Keep the feet nice and wide. Take your hands down to your knees on the breath in. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Press your heart forward, gaze up. And on the breath out, slide your hands down to the fronts of your knees, round through the whole length of your spine. Three more times, just like that. Move in time to your own breath. If you're taking these cat cows standing, you can bring a little bend into your knees, continue to slide your hands up to your thighs, press your heart high. And on the breath out, as you round into your cow, your hands, or your cat, I should say, your hands slide to the tops of your knees. Keep going just like that. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, press your heart forward. Even stick your bottom out a little bit if you're standing. On the breath out, round on in. One more cycle of breath. And breathing out. Lovely, everyone. Draw yourself all the way back up. Circle those shoulders up, back and down. Twice more through, up, back and down. Last one, up, back and settle your shoulders, your shoulder blades down your back. Take your arms out to a V, palms to the sky. Inhale, gather up. Gaze up to your hands overhead. As you exhale, draw your palms towards the earth. Fingertips almost come to touch. Press your hands all the way down to your thighs. 
and then again inhale sweep the arms wide lift up look up grow so long through your body on the exhale press all the way back down keep going just like that the inhale is an opportunity to gather fresh energy and on the exhale imagine with your hands you're pushing that energy down into your being twice more through deep breath in breath out last time put your hands down to your thighs heel toe your feet that little bit closer now if you're able to cross your knees one knee over the top go ahead and cross your right knee over your left if this isn't accessible to you keep the knees together and your feet together if you have the knees crossed, take your left elbow, see if you can connect it either to the top of your right knee or to the just outside of your right knee. Make a stop sign with that left hand towards the right side of your space. Then grow long through your spine and take your twist. Right hand holds the back of the chair. And so you'll feel this stretch, especially if you have your legs crossed, not only in your spine, but all the way down into the right outer hip, which can become quite tight with all of the uh, sitting that modern day life encourages us to do. <laughs> if you have two feet together and two knees together, pop up onto the tips of your toes so your knees are that little bit higher. Draw your right, uh, left elbow down either to rest on top of your right knee or just outside it. Find a connection grow long through your spine and then right hand is still holding the back of the chair find your twist that way wherever you are stay for two more cycles of breath and as you breathe can you imagine your breath is revolving all the way through your torso up and down your spine creating space and opening here so that when we leave our class today we are a little lighter and brighter through the heart and taller overall. To return to center, uncross your legs if they're crossed, plant your feet down if you're, you are up on your tiptoes and take some shoulder circles. And then let's take it over to the other side. Cross left knee over right or draw the two legs together. Right elbow comes down towards the top of your left knee, maybe slightly in front of your left knee, and then make a stop sign with that right hand. Once you have that connection of elbow to knee, think length through the spine, almost like the crown of the head is tugging forward and up, and then slowly start to revolve. Find a place on the back of your chair to hold onto with your left hand. And then once you have the anchor point of left hand, of right elbow, press into these points and see how much more freedom that allows you to deeper this revolution of your spine. One more full breath in. And long breath out. Slowly make your way back to center. There's nothing like a spinal twist in my opinion. Uncross your legs, maybe chocolate. Maybe chocolate's up there with spinal twists. All right, let's open up through the back line of our legs. Find your second chair and set your second chair up in front of you. I'm gonna come on a little bit of an angle so that you can see me here. Let's start with the left leg. Extend your left leg out in front, anchor your left heel down. And for me, that looks like my left leg underneath the chair and that's okay if, um, if that's where your left leg ends up as well. Pull the toes back towards your face. We actually want that to happen because we're going to slide the chair, second chair in slightly so that you can rest your hands on it and use the support of the chair to walk your hands forward any amount as you bow your torso down. If this is too deep for you, know that you always have the option to rest both hands on your right thigh or to even hold on to the back of the chair that you're sitting on and just gently draw yourself forward that way. So in this forward fold, stretching through the whole back line of our leg, Think about not only the back of your leg, but engaging the front of your leg. 
So by engaging the muscles on the front of our leg, and we do this by drawing the kneecap up, it allows a deeper um, stretch through the back of the leg. So we engage at the front to stretch deeper at the back. Keep thinking about your kneecap sliding up towards your hip. And take one more breath here. Long breath out. Keep that right, uh, left leg extended out in front of you. Lift your torso up slightly just for a moment. Stay long through your spine. Let's walk both hands forward once again. Place your right hand in the center of your second chair. And then gently press into your right hand. Start to revolve your spine over to the left. When you've gone as far as you can, extend your left arm out behind you as if you're reaching towards the wall behind you. And then think about taking deep, full breaths through the front of your heart. If you're taking this standing, I'll just so show you what it looks like. We're doing the same thing. Legs straight, heel down, toes up. Hand to the center of the chair. If you're standing, your left hand will go a little further up towards the sky. And of course you can use the back of the chair to do this as well. Wherever you are, one more breath in. And a breath out. Put your left hand forward to meet your right. We're almost there. Walk yourself back up and then slide your left foot out from under the chair. Slide it out towards the left side. Again, straighten the left leg any amount. Does not need to be perfectly straight, but then really make sure to squeeze your kneecap up so that the front of your leg is engaged. Right foot can heel toe a little wider than the chair to give you space. Two hands to your second chair and down we go once again. You may get to the point where you can even rest your forearms on your chair. Again, if this is not accessible to you, that is absolutely fine. You can rest a forearm on your right thigh as you bow forward and down. Seeking out stretch now, not only through the back of the leg, but through your inner thigh as well. Pausing for another breath in. And a long breath out. And then slowly pressing your hands into your chair, slide that left foot in. Both feet are quite wide now. Just wash the knees from side to side. Pause for a moment. You can close your eyes down. Just notice the difference between right and left side. I think it's important to stop and, and notice and reflect on how quickly we can affect change in our body. through breath, through stretch, through quick physical exertion, we can shake things up. And when you're ready, blink those eyes open. Let's go through all of that on the right side. So start with the left knee bent, slide your right foot beneath your chair, straight out in front of you, pull the toes back, pull your kneecap up. As you're ready, start to walk your hands down towards either your left thigh or down to your second chair. And you may be feeling the stretch in a different place on this leg, or it may be more intense or, or not quite as intense. We're different from left to right. So wherever you are, meet yourself with kindness. Make sure your breath is deep and sustained. And you aren't pushing into any discomfort at all. Just to show standing friends once again what this looks like. One more breath here. And draw yourself up just for a moment. If you're standing, you may choose to walk that right foot back and just pedal out through the legs. It's a lot to hold that position. If you're seated, just enjoy another breath. Extend your right foot out once again. Your left hand now comes to the center of your chair and start by pressing your hand into the chair. Turn your torso. When you can't turn your torso anymore, free your right hand and reach it all the way up and back behind you. Seated friends. So you're still bowing forward. 
You will still feel that stretch at the back of your leg, but now coupled with a lovely rotation through your spine. One more breath in here. And as you breathe out, float your right hand back. And pick yourself back up. Slide your right foot out towards the right side. Again, re-engage all of the muscles around your kneecap, pull your right toes back. And if you're seated, you may like to heel toe your left foot a little wider than the chair so that you have space to bow down. When you're ready, start to bow yourself forward and down over your second chair, finding your edge. And that edge will involve the stretch at the back of your right leg, your right inner thigh. But all the while, all the way through it, you can keep your breath deep and full. One more breath exactly as you are. And slowly walk your hands back up, lift your torso up. You may pause for a moment just in case you're getting any head spins like I am <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, and then slide that right foot in. Wash both of your knees from side to side. And you can return to a seat if you'd like uh, a little more intensity. You can return to a stand in position with goddess legs. So if you're seated, we've got goddess legs, heels in, toes out. And if you're standing, same thing with the hips and knees bent. And take your hands out in front of you, hook your fingers. If it's too much to stand and do this, go ahead and sit down. It's really more about the spinal rotation than anything else. So if your legs are starting to wobble and shake already, maybe um, have a seat and work on the spinal rotation instead. So you're hooking the four fingers of your left hand with your right hand, either palm can be in front. Lift your elbows up to the height of your shoulders and as you do that, feel your side body lengthen. Take a breath in here. As you breathe out, keep the bind, twist right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. I'm going a little bit faster now, inhaling in one direction. Exhale in the other. Inhale, exhale. Option to close your eyes down, and get lost in this rotation. I'm going to gradually pick up the pace. Speeding up in a way that feels comfortable to you. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, float your hands all the way down. Reach your hands wide, spread your fingers, breathe in. And as you breathe out, make a fist. Twice more, just like that. Inhale, stretch your fingers wide. Exhale, make a fist, relax your shoulders down. One more time, deep breath in. And breathing out. So nice, everyone. Draw your hands to your knees, heel toe your feet in. A nice little um, gap or pause right now to have a sip of water if you feel you need it. And then we'll move on to our sun salutations. And we're all about opening up through the heart today because the meditation that we'll do at the end of class is sending out loving kindness. So we need a, a nice open heart to, to do that. All right, sitting up in your chair, plant your feet directly beneath your knees. 
and grow long through your spine. Imagine that length from your hips all the way to your armpits. So visualize space between each of your ribs as you sit up tall and let your shoulders relax. So it's like there's a real brightness, a switching on through our internal body. And then we almost think about just relaxing the surface of our body over that. When you're ready, reach your arms up to the sky, take a full breath in. Find high prayer as you breathe out, bow forward and down over your legs. Take your hands to your shins just below the knees, press into your hands, lift your spine halfway up, breathe in. And as you breathe out, slide your hands down your legs, let your upper body be supported by your thighs. Press into your feet, into your strong legs, sweep your arms wide, full breath in. As you breathe out, take your hands to prayer. On the inhale, free your hands, reach around and catch a hold of the back of your chair and press your heart forward. Deep breath in here. On the breath out, circle your head forward, down and around. And on the next breath in, take your head back in the other direction. One more time, exhale. And on the inhale, you'll free your arms, reach all the way up to the sky, find your prayer. That's one round of our sun salutes. Exhale, bow forward and down. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Press firmly into your hands, feel your shoulder blades draw down and together. Exhale to bow, this is a complete release. Melt your upper body over your legs. As you next breathe in, press into your feet. Reach your arms wide and high, find your prayer. Breathe out, draw your prayer down to your heart. And on the inhale, reach your hands back around, catch a hold of the back of your chair. Breathe in, let your heart shoot forward. As you breathe out, little half circle with your head. Inhale back in the other direction. And one more exhale takes you around. On the breath in, feel your hands free. Your head circle all the way up to the sky to find your hands in high prayer. And exhale, bow forward and right down to the earth. Halfway lift, hands to shins, press. Exhale and bow. Rise high, sweep your arms wide, feel the press into your feet to give you that lift. Exhale, hands to prayer at your heart. On the breath in, find the back of your chair, press your heart forward. Breathing out, little half circle. One more inhale and exhale. If you're doing this in standing and you don't have a chair to hold on to, you can interlace your hands at your low back. Exhale, your last half circle. Breathe in, circle your head all the way up, free the hands, find high breath. And down we go again as you breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. And on the exhale, melt. Reach up, rise up, look up, fill up with breath. Prayer to your heart, keep that brightness in your, in your chest. Find the back of your chair, inhale to fly your heart forward. And as you exhale, you've got your half circle. Breathe in, back in the other direction. Breathe out, circle your chin down. Inhale, head all the way up to the sky, reach your prayer up high. Last time through, exhale, down you go. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bow, complete release. Inhale to reach and rise. Exhale, prayer to heart. Inhale, find the back of your chair or a bind of your hands, press your heart. you exhale, draw your prayer down to your heart. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes down, 
Enjoy a few quiet breaths here. Be so connected, so in tune with your body that you can feel energy darting around within you. Maybe the slight increase in the beat of your heart, the depth of your breath. Put your hands all the way down to your knees. And take a little bit of a circle of your shoulders again, independent of each other, just to release out through your upper back. Now we'll just do um, one shape in our next sequence um, because I want us to have enough time for a really long, lovely meditation that we can melt into. So continuing with this theme of opening up across the front of the chest, looking to um, bind our hands to our back body, any amount. So I'll spin around and show you our options. Option one. You can take your hands to your low back or to your pelvis and just catch a hold of opposite hands. If this is enough for you here, that's perfectly fine. Option two, maybe you slide your hands up and hold opposite forearms and bring a bend into your elbows. And then option three, you can reach one hand up to the space between your shoulder blades the other hand to the base of the elbow to push it up even higher and that's a big stretch so find which option works for you you may want to play around with all three of them until you find one that really suits you so good if you have the option with the hand between the shoulder blades you can remove your bottom hand reach all the way up bend your top elbow now and maybe catch a hold of opposite fingers or just hold on to your shirt. So wherever you are, let's just take three breaths here. As you breathe, think about drawing your shoulders back, pressing your heart forward. And breathe out to settle. One more breath. And then free your hands, whatever variation you took. Give your arms a little bit of a shake. So we're going to pair in some legs with that. Let's stretch out the front of the hips and keep working on opening up through the front of our chest. Okay, if you're seated, we've been here before, support beneath your right thigh, turn your right toes towards the wall, and then turn your whole pelvis towards the right side. You can slide your left foot back any amount. Just be aware as you slide your left foot back, while we're searching for a stretch of our hip flexors to help combat all that sitting I was talking about, um, we don't want to cause any pinching or tightness in the low back. So find a place that works for you. And then that bind of the arms once again, either the hands loosely at the low back, and then think about drawing your arm bones back for a greater stretch, catching opposite forearms, or if you're taking your hand between your shoulder blades, use the same hand that you just did. Opposite hand on top, maybe it catches the shoulder, your shirt, or maybe you interlace your fingers or hook your fingers. And if you're standing behind the chair, right foot is forward, left heel is back and sealed. Train track legs so you're nice and steady. And then one or both hands behind you. If you need a hand to hold on to the back of the chair, then please do that. Everybody press your heart forward as you breathe in. And then tip your torso forward and down towards your right knee as you breathe out. Take two breaths here. Think about drawing your arm bones back. standing free one hand and then the other step both feet together pedal out through your hips if you're seated again free your hands turn yourself to the front of your chair roll your knees from side to side and let's come across to the other side so go ahead and turn your left thigh so it's supported beneath your chair left foot directly beneath your left knee Slide your right foot back any amount. We keep the right heel free when we're seated because standing, uh, sealing the right heel um, 
causes too much torsion in the pelvis. So keep your right heel lifted. But if you're standing, you want that right heel sealed down for stability. And then our arm options, loosely to the pelvis, opposite elbows, or the opposite hand between your shoulder blades, the bottom hand gently encouraging that elbow up. Last option, or that bottom hand can come all the way overhead um, and either catch a hold of your shirt or your fingertips. Breathe in, everyone draw your arms back, press your heart forward, and as you breathe out, bow forward and down. Two more breaths here. all the way back up free your arms first and then free your legs slide your back foot in let's all make our way down to a seat wash your knees from side to side extend both legs out in front of you out of hip width distance apart and then just slide your hands down the fronts of your thighs, over your knees, down your shins to a seated forward fold. Let your head hang heavy, nod yes, shake it out no. And as you're ready, you can slowly walk your hands up your legs and prepare yourself for our closing meditation. So last week, if you enjoyed having your feet up on your second chair, you can go ahead and do that again. And just make sure it's not causing any tension over your knees. If it is, maybe a pillow underneath your knees on the chair might feel nice. Um, or you can sit back in your chair, lie down on your sofa, or lie down on your bed. So go ahead and get comfortable. I think we have sufficiently opened up our heart on all sides, as well as giving our legs a lovely stretch as well. So once you settle into your seat, I'm gonna put my legs up, because I really enjoyed doing this last week. Once you've settled into your seat, lean back into whatever surface is supporting you and close your eyes down. And then just take a few breaths here in stillness, And imagine all of the effort, all of the work that you have done so far in class. See if you can visualize that almost settling within you. Like sand settling at the bottom of the ocean after a big wave has come and stirred it all up. Imagine all of your effort settling within you now in the fibers of your being, in the memories of your muscles. And you may choose to rest your hands on your belly. You may choose to even take your hands up to your heart. Find a place to rest your hands, a softening in the body. Close your eyes down if they're not already. And we start our loving kindness meditation by directing this prayer, these well wishes to ourselves. And then we go on to share them with all of those around us. So as you rest here, see if you can visualize yourself resting in whatever chair or surface that you're resting on. Picture yourself almost as if you are having an out-of-body experience. And then direct this prayer. You may like to repeat it internally to yourself. May I feel peaceful and at ease. May I know safety. May I feel kindness and compassion. And may I know love.
Let those words swirl through you, settle into you. Notice how they make you feel. And then bring to mind a, a visualization of yourself sitting at a big table in a warm room with feelings of ease, of safety, and a general sense of wellness and goodness in this space. Begin to invite people to your table or to your circle of care and compassion. Start by bringing to mind the names and the faces of the people that are most important in your life. The ones who support you, the ones who guide you, the ones who believe in you, even when you may not believe in yourself. The people most important to you. And maybe they are people that you will share this holiday break with and you may not be able to. So invite them here to this circle of compassion. Invite them to take a seat at your table. And from your heart to theirs, offer them this wish. May you feel peaceful and at ease. May you know safety. May you feel kindness and compassion. And may you know love. Continue to soak in the faces and the feelings of all of those people, your special people, sitting with you at your table. And then begin to widen your circle of compassion, pull more chairs up to your table to send more loving kindness out. Now bring to mind the feelings and the faces of people in your world as you go about your day. Strangers you may pass on the street, people whose stories you may not know, but those who make up your wider community, people you work with, people you exercise with. Bring these people to mind, hold them in your heart and find space for them at your table. And then send out love and offer them your well wishes. May you feel peaceful and at ease. May you know safety. May you feel kindness and compassion. And may you know love. And picture yourself in this room, your table full of people who you know well, people who are part of your extended community. And then find more space in your heart. Widen your circle, make more space at your table. And bring to mind those you know to be suffering. Those close to you or strangers. And from your heart, with all of the generosity that you have, offer them your love. May you feel peaceful and at ease. May you know safety. May you feel kindness and compassion, and may you know love. Your table is full, your room is warm, your heart is full to the brim with this sense of loving kindness and deep generosity. Imagine now you are extending it out of the room in your vision. Imagine you're extending this feeling out of your home, out of your town, the state, the country. Imagine you are sending this feeling of loving kindness to those all over the world. May all beings everywhere feel peaceful and at ease. May all beings everywhere know safety. May all beings everywhere feel kindness and compassion. And may all beings everywhere know love. Let these feelings, these well wishes radiate from your heart out as far and as wide as you can imagine.
sending love to as many people as you can. Sit with these feelings for one more cycle of breath in. And breath out. Put your hands down away from your heart or wherever you were resting them and place them in your lap. And bring yourself back into your physical body. Feel your body resting on whatever surface it's resting on, chair, sofa, bed, floor. And when you feel you have arrived back into your physical body, take a moment to blink your eyes open and take a deep breath in and a long breath out. You can slide your feet off your second chair or gently make your way up to a seat if you are lying down. And slowly come back into your space. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today, for sharing that meditation, which um, is one that's very close to my heart. Thank you for sharing it with me. So if you're watching this class at a later date, please leave a comment. We check all of our comments and respond back to all of you. And if you even feel so compelled to now at the end of class, go ahead and leave us a comment below the video um, so that we can see how you enjoyed it. Um, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Give us that thumbs up and tell all of your friends about the number one exercise channel for Parkinson's on YouTube that uh, you're part of, this community that you're part of. We'll see you all next week. Thanks, friends. Bye.